In this video, I'm be showing you the best popper build in NBA 2K23. If you're new to the channel, my name is Lance. I'm the head coach for Bucks Gaming. And so we're going to start with the center position. You're going to go 7 foot. You're going to go 232 pounds. And you're going to go 7 foot 10 wingspan. And for the body shape, do built for the biggest like character box. Now for the attributes, and I'll put them and I'll kind of explain why you want to put these. So we'll go close shot 85. We're going to go driving layup 64. Driving dunk to an 80. Standing dunk to an 80. We're going to go post control to a 78. And so the reason why I wanted to do this is, as you see, of course, we get fast twitch goal, which is really good. Getting rise up to goal will be nice, but you're just not going to have enough attribute points. Master gold's good. You're going to unlock gold drop steppers so with this build you're going to be able to finish pretty well in the paint 85 close shot if you use post hooks that'd be good for that also into the rim 80 driving dunk is just to unlock the quick drops off one one of the best dunk packages in the game if you haven't used it and then standing dunk 80 we're going to unlock the uh, contact dunk packages uh, with the standing dunk and the reason why you want to get this to a 78 unlock gold drop stepper that's uh, pretty good badge and so that is really the finishing setup. We do get 20 finishing badges, which is really good. So with this, we're going to go gold dream, dream shake, silver limitless takeoff, bronze giant slayer, bronze slithery. We're going to go silver aerial, bronze posterizer. And that's going to unlock uh, the tier three fast switch. We're going to core it. We're going to add rise up. And this will be the final product of the finishing badges and then giant slayer i'm not in love with you could take this off at fearless same thing with slithery all that type of stuff whatever you guys feel like with fearless i do like fearless whenever you're mashing giant slayer you are seven foot so if you're going against other like bigger tall centers it could kick in and help you finish uh but again being a seven footer you're probably going to go against probably centers mostly your size so maybe giant slayer is not as good as fearless finisher can be uh, but kind of just to break this down dream shake it boosts your shot fakes after or shot percentage after a shot fake so in the paint if you're pump faking a lot this is going to boost that limitless takeoffs to help you get those quick drops and this build is kind of centered around that ability to get the quick drops as you pop out as a center you know and your point guard throws it to you be able to kind of attack the lane a second and then act, get that quick drop to activate that's what kind of the key aspect of this build is aerial wizard uh, the reason why I have Arrow Wizard, if you don't get oops thrown to you a lot, it if you read towards the end, I put back finish off an offensive rebound, I increase your ability to finish those. And so if you don't really use this, that's just plus four more badges you could add anywhere you want. Maybe now you want to add in the drop stepper, get that to gold if you really like to try to go down to the paint. Uh, but for me, I'm going to keep Aerial Wizard Silver. Post Riser is good enough just to get a few of those uh, standing contact dunks with Rise Up. And then Gold Fast, which I think is one of the best center badges in the game so to shooting we're gonna go your mid-range to a 71 your three-pointer to a 79 and your free throw to a 65 and so with this shooting you do get 16 that is in order to get catch and shoot silver uh, you also be able to put limitless range bronze if you want to uh, this build is going to have just enough shooting badges to be effective from the three but you're not going to have anything like crazy extra I really just wanted this popper build to, you know, be enough to shoot, but still have the ability to finish in the paint as a center should. And so that's really like the main reason why I just wanted to get hit the 16 threshold. Uh, no more, no less than that. And then with the 71 mid range, it's not crazy good. But of course, as a center, uh, you'll be able to hit that pretty consistently if you know your jump shot and 65 free throw. I use Michael Jordan as the free throw, so I think it's pretty good. I think you should try it too if you have a low free throw. I really don't miss too often, uh, but that'll be the shooting part for this. So for the shooting badges, we're gonna go bronze blinders, bronze claymore, silver volume, silver amped. You're gonna get catch and shoot silver, core that. And then now you can kind of put where these this badge wherever you want. Um, and so in my opinion, I think one of the best spots to put this can be, you know, you could add this in a guard up. Uh, but some centers like to try to shoot from the limitless range so you can get that bronze. It's not going to be incredibly good. Uh, but for me, I'm going to go silver guard up. I'm going to add a bronze clutch shooter in there. And so for this build, now this is where your plus four is actually going to come in handy. So we're going to add all four shooting badges to or all four extra badges that you get to your shooting. And so you're going to have five here. You could have this set up and still get limitless range or you could pump up 
your volume shooter to gold. You get your amped, you, or your amp stays at silver. Uh, you can get your claymore up just to really make sure that you can hit your shots. So I suggest putting your plus four all in shooting to just really max out every single badge that you can get. And for playmaking, we're going to go a 76 for your pass accuracy. And that'll be it for playmaking. You're going to get nine potential badges. Uh, the main reason I wanted to get this is, of course, you'll get break starter, bailout, and then you, could, you can get vice grip, I think, like on silver. So something like that. Uh, whenever you core break starter of course you'll be able to have more badges than that but with playmaking i think break starter gold is good enough i've heard hall of fame isn't a crazy kind of jump from gold uh so the difference between getting an 86 and a 76 is big for all your other stats that you can get uh, so we're going to keep this one to just a 76 uh it's plenty good enough you're going to unlock some pretty good badges with it now for playmaking we're going to break starter gold and core that you're gonna get bailout because it's you're gonna have a bad pass here or there and then you're gonna get vice grip on gold and now you're gonna get clamp breaker on bronze and this is the best playmaking setup that you can get for the center you're gonna be able to throw the break really well vice grips can help you not get stripped you're gonna take a bad shot you're gonna need bailout to ever, to get those passes out of there and then clamp breaker helps really like defenders not stick to you as much especially on those when you're like trying to drive and get those quick drop animations so now for the good part defense so we're gonna go 80 interior we're gonna go 44 perimeter. We're gonna go 33 steel. 93 block. We're gonna go 90 offensive rebound and 99 defensive rebound. And so with this defense, you can kind of see some of the badges we unlock. Uh, we will get rebound chaser Hall of Fame. Must have. I would love to get anchor Hall of Fame. It's really good on Hall of Fame, but. You're just gonna have to really tweak the build lower a lot of physicals and things like that to get there and that's just things i didn't want to do to get to that level uh, we will unlock a uh, silver brick wall which is going to be great you get silver post lockdown box out be pretty much every badge that you could ever need as a center on this popper build and with that your physicals are going to be really good with this build so you're going to be able to be fast enough to actually utilize some of these things on defense uh, so overall uh, although this is a popper build, you're not going to lose anything on the defensive side. And in my opinion, you're not going to lose much in the finishing aspect too. So this is really like an all, all around like well-built popper build in my opinion. Now for the best part, of course, defense. So for defense, we're going to go Hall of Fame box out. We're going to go uh, bronze challenger, bronze interceptor. We're going to go gold chase down artist. I'm going to go Hall of Fame rebound chaser. I'm going to core that silver brick wall and then gold anchor. And so this is the badges for this silver brick wall is pretty good gold anchor of course i'd like to get hall of fame but gold anchor works hall of fame rebound chaser i think is must have for any big gold chase on artist is great box out beast you could take it down to gold if you feel like you, you can maybe add it somewhere else but i think boxing out of this game is a must challenge is going to help you contest those perimeter shots really well and intercept is a must have to for any big to play the back end and really to play those cuts and things like that and now for the physicals your speed's going to be a 71 Acceleration is 68, your strength is going to be an 82, vertical is going to be a 65, and your stamina is going to be a 90. And so that'll be the physicals for this build. Uh, like I said, you're super fast. Now, if there's an area that you want to lower to get some badges here or there, you could lower your acceleration. I'm going to keep it up. I wanted this build to be pretty like athletic in general. Vertical, I'd like to be higher, so maybe if you sacrifice your acceleration, you could up your vertical just a little bit, but it's not going to be much. Uh, 90 stamina is a must have for at least in this range, maybe between 85, 90 plus, uh, because as a popper, your, your stamina affects your shooting. And so if you're running up and down the court a lot, setting screens, rotating, all that type of stuff and wrecking pro-am, uh, it's just going to be tough for you to make a lot of shots consistently with anything lower than this. So this will be the full uh, attribute layout for this build. Here's all the takeovers they get, shooting, defense, and then rebounding. These are the two that I suggest using, but of course, whatever takeovers you like to use, I don't think there's any like really wrong way to go. There's a few bad ones, but in general, most people understand which ones to use. Box out wall is always good this year because of the worm animations all the centers are getting. That also helps you kind of worm some and then being able to stop dunks in this game. So make sure you have a defensive one, in my opinion.
Like I said earlier, my name is Lance. I'm the head coach of Bucks Gaming. In the description below, I have a link to my Discord if you're interested in joining. Um, in there, you can find things like how to make the 2K League, uh, tips and things around the 2K League. I have like best builds for, for NBA 2K23. Or if you want to play the game with myself, I'll play both on Xbox and PlayStation. So like I said, that link is in the description below. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.